back there. Cozy. But really, I don't mind sitting up front. Oh, no. Royalty always sits in the back. And royalty, it's it's a bit of a stretch. I teach music. Nah, you win all county for us. You'll be treading out the house for a castle in no time. And I, welcome to Ireland, huh? Small roads, big hearts. Get... Get saves me? Close. Mispronounced my entire life. It's get sem money. Get same as me. Perfect. You gotta do, lads, and get it done! It was a mile offside. change. What time is it back in Virginia? You've done your research. Oh, small town, big gossip. And what exactly are they saying about me? Well, you graduated top of class in Stellenbosch, and you're the conductor who's going to finally put our town on the map. Really? They're saying that? Oh. Sam Brendan's will be lucky to have you. Yeah, you know me, Doc. I'm just trying to live my best afterlife. No alarm clocks, no bills. Oh, never weighed less, you see? But I have to say, if I'd known this is going to be my permanent ghostly outfit, I might have chosen a suit, you know, or a nice comfy pair of shoes. Even then, my lovely Orla is up there somewhere and I'm stuck down here, a soul without a soulmate with no one to see or hear me. just the way he had it. Now some of the guests seem to really like the Eamon McCarthy aesthetic. Wait. Your uncle is Eamon McCarthy? You're a fan. Who isn't? Study any of the great Celts. He tops every composer's list. His song, Will You Be There? Oh, it's helped me through a lot of hard times. Me too. When the school set up the house, I had no idea it was going to be the house of a legend, let alone two or less poems, lyrics equally unmatched, each other's muse, I heard. Yeah, well, such a tragic accident. Accident? Don't believe the press, all right? Eamon would never push the love of his life off any cliff, and when the wind tragically swept her away, a part of him went with her. Couldn't bear to live without her. But I've read... And they took me in when my mother passed. Like second parents, so... I chose to believe the best. I get it. You know, some guests swear they've heard Eamon's piano playing at night. Not to scare you. It doesn't. Well, you don't believe in ghosts. Oh, I believe some people do. 
To each their own, right? Oh, fair enough. I like to think of them as Heathcliff and Catherine out there wandering over the moors. Emily Bronte. All right. So you're romantic then? Was. Um, romantically impaired at the moment. Sorry to hear. Uh, so, um, my full time job is property maintenance. So if you need anything, just ring. And I have an extra key if you get locked out. Any questions? Wasn't there supposed to be a car? The school said transportation provided. Orla's on. Got her into town every day in less than 20 minutes. <laughs> it's not exactly a car. I would think of what you save on gas, huh? No, Uncle Amy's car was recently stolen, so until insurance comes through. Oh, so I should keep my things locked up then? <sighs> Better safe than sorry. All right, I haven't really ridden a bike in a while, but I hear it's a lot like riding a bike. <laughs> Oh, a bell. It's Emily Brown. Yes. That is exactly how you say it. I'm Inspector O'Reilly. Come in. You said someone was maybe in your house. Uh, maybe. I was, uh, I, I was sleeping and, uh, but woke up hearing these four notes. Came down, nothing here. Then the piano lid just slammed on its own and then there was someone out there. Unnerving, for sure. I had a little look around outside and there's no trace of anyone. The ground's fairly soft, but not a single footprint besides my own. Okay, but what about the piano? <sighs> Hammers get stuck sometimes. Shake loose when the humidity changes. Okay, well, maybe you're right. I just keep hearing all about Eamon and Orla and the whole accident thing. It must have got stuck in my head. Accident? If you're uncomfortable, I can recommend a hotel or a B&B. &B. No, I I'll stay. Maybe I just need some air. I'll join you. Give her gander around the property. Gander? How many people are really using that anymore? Oh, I'm bringing it back. <sighs> this is just beautiful. I know, it really is. So what do you think happened between Eamon and Orla? Well, it's not really my place to say. I mean, just the basics. It just feels like I haven't gotten the whole story. Well, it was before I took up post here, but uh, around 9 p.m., Eamon finishes his recital, a Garda, what we call a cop over here, pulls him over around 10 p.m. Next day, both found deceased. You think he pushed Orla over these cliffs and then poisoned himself? That's what the official report says. Fairly dark subject for such a stunning view. That it is. I might not have been talking about the sunrise. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> I see what you did there. Sorry. I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> Well, thank you, Inspector. For the compliment. 
thank you for coming here and making me feel better. Right. <laughs> I really should go get ready for class. Okay. excited to have you. Uh, Liam Byrne, one of our main donors, is a choir alumni who lost the Bishopstown every year. He's hoping to live vicariously uh, through his son Rian's first win. I see. No pressure, though. None. <laughs> now. Ladies and gentlemen of the choir, positions, please. <laughs> it is my extreme pleasure to introduce to you Miss Brown. Well, I leave you to it. Thank you. So, I could use a whole game day pep talk, but like my dad always said, sometimes it's better to just rip the Band-Aid right off. I'm gonna play a note for you, and I want you to sing it back to me. Now you. Uh, it's a start. I just want to say my dad really wants me to solo for the All County, and I would do anything not to. Rian Byrne, I'm assuming? Oh, no. He already got to you. <laughs> we'll work on him together, Rian. Hi. <laughs> Guessing you're not a student. No. Um, wondering if you could keep the doors closed while in session. We're doing exponents across the hall. Sorry. Of course. <laughs> Welcome, by the way. Thank you, by the way. Griff, uh, across the hall, if you ever need anything, even when you don't. Gethsemane. Very much appreciated. OK. Pardon me. Where were we? Can I help you? Uh, I'm Seamus. I do local deliveries. Will you ask me to drop you around the basics? Get? Get some money. Get him some money. <laughs> Perfect. The basics? <laughs> In these parts, yeah. Reardon's is premium, so just take care of it. The bottle's a few months' rent. I'm just going to put these in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not much of a drinker, but... Uh, Billy was saying that uh, Eamon and Orly used to drink when they rode together, and when he... Well, you know that story. Well, I heard the official one, but uh, I definitely prefer the new take. Do you know, that's the, that's the last thing she ever wrote to him. What is your take of it all? Oh, I'm not into getting into other people's business, you know? Just... Let sleeping dogs lie. I will, uh, I'll see you around. Thank you for the groceries. You're welcome. Well, that is, that's nice. It's my dad's Rindle doll. It's premium. A few months rent as well. Oh, I bet. <laughs> anyway, it was lovely to meet you. Get, Get so many. Get so many, OK. <laughs> I'm 
still figuring out the ghost rules myself, but you're probably scared too. Look, I didn't murder Orla. You're totally safe. Everything's fine. Let's start again. I'm Eamon, and you're... Fleeting. Right. We smashed that. Jet lag, lucid dream, subconscious projection. You're fine. But you are talking to yourself. What can I get for you? Oh, uh, whatever your house rent is. Pint coming up? Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't need a pint. A glass of, of wine. Just messing with you, love. You're, uh, the teacher staying up at Eamon's own place. Small town big gossip. That. And I uh, see things. See things? Tarot cards, tea leaves. The women in my family have always had a talent. Special sight. Are you sure you're all good? Does it look like you've seen a ghost? Just tired. A <sighs> little stressed. Siobhan reads things other than tea leaves, too. What was the headline in yesterday's paper, Siobhan? New teacher promises gold for St. Brendan's. Hey, I also predicted the Rovers wins. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, and what's the crack? Oh, it's our what's up. Response, divil a bit, means not much. No, it is. <laughs> I'm Dr. Elizabeth Mary, local physician. Get so many brown. My practice is just across the street, if you ever need a checkup. Thank you. I just might. Hello? Ghost guy? Subconscious projection of my own inner turmoil? <sighs> whoa, 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 that's a Reardon's reserve. You don't put it on ice. You don't even drink it. You just look at it, you know, and then put it away. Huh? Oh. Please, <gasps> listen to me. Listen to me. I'm a nice ghost. I'm actually harmless. Papers say different. But they don't know the full story. What do you want from me? To solve my Orla's murder. Yeah. And maybe mine. If you have time. Please. So you're saying Orla was killed by someone else. You were poisoned, and now you're hassling me so I can solve it for you? It does feel like a bigger ask when you say it out loud, right? Love makes the world go round, but whiskey makes it go twice as fast, especially when it's been poisoned. No, 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 no. The one I drank. Yeah. Probably should have opened with that. Probably. Coroner thought the poison was foxglove. Grows wild in Kiltiernan. Very popular in gardens. Uh, not dangerous in small amounts. How do you know that? Had front row seats to both autopsies. OK, this doesn't make any sense. Very little here does. You could have picked anyone. Why me? That's right, I didn't pick anything. I've been plunking these same four notes in jest for the past five years. And you're the first one to get the reference and the only one to play the notes back to me. Actually, maybe you've unlocked something. We'll relock and go back into whatever you came from. Look, I'm a ghost, not a genie. And genies don't ask you for the wish, do they? Look, I feel like we've got off on the wrong foot. I'm Amy. Get so many. You see, this is why I need you. How's that? I can walk through walls, but I can't move anything apart from the piano lids and keys for whatever reason. Uh, I have to say, limbo is not the fun dance party game it's cracked up to be. You're stuck between worlds? Can't even leave town. 
I mean, I've tried, but every time I cross that bridge, it's like getting smacked into a window. So if you want to leave and get out of limbo, I have to solve your murder? Yes, and Orla's. It's classic unfinished business. Please, can you help me? I'll humor myself. What evidence do you have? Well, Orla was uncharacteristically late from my opening night. When I came back home after, she wasn't here, so I found her the next day at the base of the cliffs. She had these marks in her neck, like studded imprints. From what? Coroner thought it could have been evidence of strangulation, but it was written off inconclusive. Well, then how did you get poisoned? I carried her back in. I called the police. I didn't know what to do. The note she left. Drink to our never-ending love song. So I did. Glass was poisoned. But no, not by her. Again, I mean, can you prove it? What? what? Please, please, I... I just want to see my girl again. And I think the only way I can is to figure this out. Can you help me? This is a lot to digest. Can I sleep on it? Sure. I'll be here. I think I've just been stressed with my job, my leaving my ex-fiance back home. Haven't been sleeping well. Headaches? Not exactly. What's not exactly? I've been having an annoying hallucination. Mm, hurtful. Tell me about this hallucination. <sighs> he claims he's a ghost. A ghost? It's all probably on my mind because I'm staying at Eamon McCarthy's house. I'm sure you've heard of him. I have. Actually, he and Orla were friends of mine. Sorry. This is probably not the... Oh, it's fine. It was hard seeing the world without him, but... I think of them every day. Any history of hallucinations? My dad had said he saw things, but we never believed him. That's probably in the back of my mind, too. Losing him was... has been... Hard. This ghost has to be a stress-related projection, right? Charming. Strong possibility. But let's get you settled in. And if you're still having trouble in a few days, I'll send you for an MRI. And in the meantime, I'll write your prescription for sleep aid. Give that ghost a rest. Sorry about your dad. I guess that's both of us right now. Two people not wanting to let go. If I see him when I get up there, what do you want me to say to him? I don't know. You do that? You help me solve all this, I'll do anything you want. Look, he gave you a supernatural gift for a reason. All you have to do now is allow your mind to open it. In a way, it'd be honoring him. True, but I have no clue if you're even real. And if you were, there's no evidence that... that... <laughs> about killing Orla. Now what if there was evidence? Would we have a deal? We'll still have to think about it. Okay, come on. Let's go. I'll prove it. Wait, uh, you, you may be dead, but I still have to make a living. After class, we can check it out. Too flat. And this one's just mouthing the words, I think. Quiet! Oh no, not you. <sighs> okay, Rian, show me an E. Uh... Miles Davis said, don't fear mistakes. There are none. So try again. That's not fair. There wasn't even an E. How did you know that? My dad made me take piano lessons since I was six. It's so boring. 
You may not have a voice, Rian, but come. Can you play this? got an ear. I think we have just found our accompanist for our county. <laughs> See? There are no mistakes. Why well, don't get? Thank you. But don't call me gets. Maddie, huh? sing me a C. Well, you can't win them all. Stop right up here. I can't leave town. I'll show you. Now, Einstein said energy is neither created nor destroyed. So if humans are energy, where do we go? You know where? Go Slandia. Meet its newest resident. I told you I was telling you the truth. That doesn't prove that you're not a figment of my imagination or that you didn't kill Orla. Fact check my opening night. The storm. Any news on this bridge, Narrows Creek Bridge? Narrows Creek Bridge. If there's a downed tree blocking this bridge. Yes. Would there be another road in town? A back road that circles around from the east. The weather was bananas, so that's the way I took home. Because this bridge was impassable. Right. Other route would add an extra hour 50 onto a really long drive. And that means? An officer couldn't have pulled you over in Dunmala anywhere near the time they said. Yes. The official story's wrong. You couldn't gone back at that time and killed Orla. So that means an officer is covering up something. Yes. Well, then why do you just hover into a police station, teleport into the filing room, spy on your suspects, and find the killer? A, I don't hover. B, how would I tell the police I'm not the killer when they can't hear me? C, if the piano keys and cover are the only thing I can move, how would I physically open a file? D, you're the only one who can hear and see me. E, sorry, I lost where I was going with that. Well, if an officer is covering up something, what are they covering up? I think O'Reilly needs to hear this. Sounds to me like we have a deal. That we do. <laughs> what else? Gardy questioned Seamus Ashley because he delivered the whiskey that night. Sat in on it myself. Which puts him at the scene. Poison the whiskey. Or the whiskey could have been poisoned later. He did mention seeing somebody arguing with Orla on the doorstep. A shorter person. Male or female? I haven't been able to ask. Detective O'Reilly, please. With the bridge washed out, Eamon couldn't have been in Dumbala when the officer said. Come here. You're implying a guard is covering up. You need to reopen the case. It's not my case to reopen. Why does this even matter to you? If Eamon didn't do it, the killer is still out there. Well, we've had no similar cases recently. A few break-ins, sure, but no murders. Please, I... Miss Brown, I appreciate your concern, but I strongly recommend you leave these matters to the police. I'll try. I will. Declan! Pull the Eamon McCarty file for me, will you please? What for? Oh, I just want to give it a quick gander. It was 
you. What have you got? Nothing. File's gone. arguing at the house. On top, Officer Declan lying about pulling you over. Not to mention Declan falsified a report and destroyed it. He could also be the house suspect. Mm, too tall if Seamus is telling the truth. Anything suspicious about Seamus? He and my nephew Billy met in juvenile detention. Billy was there mainly for fights and minor theft. Seamus for break-ins mostly. Mostly? And manslaughter. Next time, open with that. That charge was from a car accident, though, not a potential strangling and poisoning. Anyway, they've both got big into hurling since. They're living the good life. He's also a handyman. I hired him a few years ago to redo my floors upstairs. Did a great job. Or he was stealing. I saw he was casing the house. So why do you think Declan is covering up then? Maybe for himself, maybe for someone else. Either way, he definitely knows something. Left a message at the station. Haven't heard back. Doubt I will. You've never had any issues with Declan or Seamus? Never. Huh. What about a motive? Or Declan's connection to Seamus? Maybe Seamus has something on Declan. Maybe he's lying for him? Maybe. But if someone had reason to hurt Orla, Deirdre might know. Deirdre is? She runs Orla's fan site over at Milltown. If you need a break from me, she'll be a good place to start. Unless, of course, you like being here with me, and... Uh, yeah. Hey, that's, uh, that's actually quite hurtful. If you don't mind me, I'm grand here on my own. Afternoon. Hi, Gethsemane. I'm over in Don Mola. I'm uh, new to the whole area, but I heard there's no bigger fan of Orla O'Dell's than you. Word travels, apparently. Diehard fan myself. <sighs> Forever and a day. Best ode to love written. That it is. <laughs> Pardon my Fordness, but I heard you have the collection of collections and was just hoping to connect, trade stories. I'm not one to just show up or barge in. You're a fan and an Ireland dear. My door's always open. <laughs> Join me for a wee cuppa. She was so sweet in real life too. I was absolutely shattered. How long have you been running the fan site for? It started back in 2005. It was just a little message board that grew. I couldn't keep up with it at all. So I turn everything over to some of the other members. Not Billy McCarthy? Billy is only interested in lining his pockets. And he's not hustling, he's gambling. He's debts all over town. I heard his buddy Seamus was there the day Orla died. He says he saw someone else arguing with her. <laughs> Biscuit? Sure. Thank you. I wouldn't trust a word either said. What do you think really happened? Tragedy. She got too close to the edge, and in grief, Eamon poisoned himself. None of the other theories ever made sense. Fair enough. I mean, who would want to hurt Orla, right? Exactly. Eamon, on the other hand, he did have some possessive fans. Dangerous? Who knows? But if Seamus did see someone at the door that night, it could have been Orla shooing off an eager fan of Eamon's. Could have been. Hopefully there's nothing more to it, right? You're another podcaster or reporter. No, not a reporter. I'll tell you, like I told them, I had nothing to do with it. Oh, I'm just asking. Well, I'm just asking you to leave. She definitely was a shorter person, and Deirdre's collection was a touch obsessive. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time a superfan killed their hero. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if you would have seen the look in her eyes. Both she 
and Declan are hiding something. Or maybe Seamus made up the story of seeing someone to cover for himself, casing the neighborhood. Or breaking in. Orla catches him in the act. That's motive. And I hate to say it, but Deirdre isn't a super fan of Billy's. Says he's exploiting you and has gambling debts all over town. Billy's a good kid. If you're angling that Billy did it for inheritance, he didn't even ask to be in the will, so... So he knew he was in the will, though? Musicians are worth more dead than alive. Not to mention his bestie delivering the poisoned bottle. Maybe they were working together, splitting the inheritance. Billy is not a suspect, ever, okay? <sighs> Sorry. I've worked with plenty of orchestras that needed a little time to come together, but this? I guess I didn't realize we'd be starting from the ground up. Yeah, the St. Brendan's Arts Department has fallen behind the past few years, but that's why they called in the esteemed Gethsemane Brown. I just can't figure out how to get them on the same page. Half of them can't even find a temple on their own, let alone together. You know, I had a rough time when I first started. Really? Yeah. Well, it's no fun being the new guy, trying to figure out how to get 25 kids invested in calculus. What did you do to get them invested? Well, I guess after a while I realized, yes, I'm teaching mathematics. But first and foremost, I'm teaching kids. <laughs> so do you have any other sage words of wisdom? Maybe immerse yourself in the culture a little more. You should uh, stop into the music gym tonight down at the pub. Uh, huh? I don't know. That that sounds like a date. Oh no 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 date. Uh, here. Oh. Uh, it's like a, a stop in. Just a brief hello. No meal. Everyone's gonna be there. Will there be wine involved? If you want, yeah. It's a stop in with the potential of wine. No date, no meal. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even compliment you. Huh? Better not. <sighs> Let me think on it. Okay. Hope to see you there. <laughs> he was definitely asking you on a date back then. I tell you. Every love song has a first note, and Griff is a good lad. His ex-wife, not so much. Noted. You done with your matchmaking? Yeah, for now. But I was thinking we should go to the pub later. Or you should. It's our town hall. Fine. What is the proper outfit when investigating a double murder? Don't ask me. I'm dead. Classic love triangle. I saw you and O'Reilly by the cliffs. Why don't you mosey around? See what you find? Message received. Welcome, welcome. Looks like you stopped in. Quick, tiny stop. Don't even know if it's technically a full stop. So, full through. Uh huh. Get you that one? Uh, too dainty. I got it. Okay. You know, I uh, was about to compliment you, then I remember you told me not to. Smart man. Join us if you like. <sighs> We're dead, Seamus. That's 50 grand down the job. Um, we could double down on Thursday night's game. Uh, if not, there's always my side hustle. Come on, let's get another round. Call it heads or harps. Harp. You're buying. What's the crack? Tiffle a bit. He's a quick learner. Let me get you a snake bite. Hope you fit in better. A what? Bed of beer? Bed of cider? One glass. Works for me. <laughs> hey, I heard you're kind of the go-to for local news. Did you hear anything about Deirdre? She ran Orla's fan site before she stepped down? Um, no, it's not really stepping down when you're fired. Something about selling fake autographs to the website. Or it wasn't having it. 
When was this? Not long before the accident. What about Eamon? Any problems with him? Half the women in this town are always after Eamon. I know he and Orla had more than a few fights about it, but Eamon never strays. Cheers. Cheers. your idol turning on you is definitely motive. And Orla was apparently a jealous type? Wasn't her fault. I mean, people were always trying to drive us apart. Sure, who could blame them? Look at me. Didn't expect to see such a special guest tonight. See? Everybody loves me. <laughs> Shush. I mean, she's... This is good. Yeah. Um, who's the special guest? Well, you are. Uh, well, you are a uh, well-regarded musician, aren't you? And we don't usually have performers of your pedigree. That's trad night. Trad night? Traditional Irish music. It's where uh, a group of locals get together and play songs everyone knows. Come on. just wouldn't want to see you getting hurt or anything. I just want to know more about the person you saw at Orla's that day. Will you just leave it alone? Their deaths were accidents, nothing mysterious. Is it a stretch two kids who met in juvie might have plotted a bigger crime to claim an inheritance? No, but a killer strangling someone feels angry and personal with real hurt. Deirdre was rejected by someone she cared deeply about. Never saw that one. Whatever souls are made of, ours were the same. <laughs> are the same. You'll see her again. That belt. What about it? A studded pattern. That's the same pattern that was on Orla's neck when I found her. Orla was killed with that belt. drilled their way into the safe. I'd already done my deposits, so they didn't get anything there. Spray painted the security cam lenses right away, so I couldn't get a good look. Did something happen? If there was an Olympic medal for police interference. Burglary. Last night. Can I at least finish my report? Sorry. <laughs> I will call you later, Siobhan, okay? And you, stay out of trouble. Another one? This used to be such a nice town. Off to school? Milltown first. Besides a mediocre rugby team, what's in Milltown? Orla's number one fan. Be careful out there. How are you feeling, by the way? I'm not seeing anything anymore, so I think I'm good. You sure? Getting sleep? All good. Thanks, doctor. I don't have anything else to say. Just, just one question. Uh, I was going through Orla's site. I saw this picture of you in this gorgeous studded belt. I was wondering where you got it from? I don't remember any belt. It's definitely unforgettable. Oh, uh, it was a gift, so I'm not sure. Uh, I that belt matches strangle marks on Orla's neck. S strangle marks? If you were there that night, and that's your belt, the police are gonna talk to you. With me, it's off the record. I know you didn't do anything. Let me help you. 
I, I was ashamed after stealing from the site. From her. It wasn't Orla's fault I never had money. So I went by. She'd given me that belt as a gift, but it didn't feel right keeping something that expensive, so I gave it back, like a down payment. I'd never hurt Orla. I couldn't. Then who could have? Let's get you off the hook here. When I went to her place, there was someone else there. Someone inside. Who? I couldn't see. It was only Orla's car on the driveway. I wanted to tell the guardie for years, but I was worried that others could get hurt. What others? Look, someone's been watching me since you were here. Maybe listening. And if they're watching me, they're watching you too. Please be safe. Who was with Orla that night? I shouldn't have said anything. Please. Headed to lunch. Headed to the field? Yeah, I promised Coach Hingerty I'd help him with the scrimmage. What's your sport? Parents discouraged sports or anything non-music. Worried I'd have fun. Well, I thought that it would distract me from my studies. I only picked up hurling recently, but other than that... Uh, <laughs> have fun. I'll have a tea. Hey, Deirdre. Whoever was watching is here. They think I said something. Deirdre, if you're in danger, hang up the phone and call the police. They're on the way. Look, the person at Orla's, I, I didn't see them, but they took a call. Sal had a ringtone like... Why do I know that tune? I saw their shoes. Red. Male or female? Alive, but she was hit pretty hard with something. You shouldn't be here. She knew if she said anything, something like this was gonna happen. But it was gonna happen to others. Others? It's like she was protecting someone. Who? Didn't say. She did mention someone was at Orla's that night. Any description? She saw red shoes and heard their ringtone. I, I know that tune from somewhere. It's definitely late 70s, early 80s. Perfect. I just checked the 3.8 million cell phones in Ireland and entered them all into circumstantial evidence. I know you're not supposed to, but we can help each other out here. If we were to talk, we can't be here. The Narrows Creek Bridge is on the way back to Dunmala. It's very picturesque. I might stop for a little sightseeing. My niece, Deirdre, where is she? Follow me. Niece? she was worried about getting in trouble or hurt. Subjective, but possibly. But we're not talking about the case. We're not. But if we were, I tell you that Deidre owned the belt Orla was strangled with. Where'd you get strangling from? Declan's also the officer who reported pulling Eamon over. What? Declan is on his way to the hospital, but I will speak with him later. Again, not talking about the case. But I have a meeting with the coroner, who has both Eamon and Orla's original autopsy notes. And the reason I'm telling you this is to ease your mind that I'm doing my job. But whoever it is, they know we're onto them. Which is why you need to stay out of it. The reason I agreed to come here... ...was to ask what I saw at Deirdre's. ...was to make sure you got home safe. Some of the splinters on the floor were connected to what looked like a black tape they wrapped Hurley's with. Find the broken stick, 
Find the person that attacked Deirdre, find the killer. It is very picturesque, though. Hmm. Why don't I give you a ride home? I have a bike. I know. I have a boot. And it's going to rain. Keep up the good work. Oh, Patty. Come, sit down. When I was a kid, I was so shy I couldn't even answer the phone. Really? It would just ring and ring. It drove my parents insane. <laughs> was worried I'd say the wrong thing. But then I realized, later in choir, I was just one of a bigger voice. And we need all those voices to make that one sound. So be more brave with your volume next class. I mean, if you lead your section, they will follow. You have great pitch. Amazing ear. Just put the phone to that ear and answer the call. I just don't want to screw it up. There are no mistakes, Maddie. Be bold. I'll try. I highly doubt we're going to win all county. There are worse fates in life. If you look at me, well, why did you quit performing? Lost my passion somewhere. I hope teaching might help me find it again. Maybe because my dad taught music too? I don't know. You can always fail at what you don't want to do too. So always go for the dream. That's where the passion is. Teaching, performing, whatever. As soon as I pull myself out of a murder investigation, I'll put take life advice from a dead person on the top of my list. Hurtful. But so you don't end up a fellow dead person. Maybe let O'Reilly do his job. Oh, fuck. Care about me. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Maybe, kind of. Yes. Well, Eamon, I maybe kind of yes about you too. Which is why I'm not stopping. like Seamus Ashley. He must have dropped the violin when he heard us. Upstairs doesn't seem to have fared too badly. But you're sure you saw Seamus Ashley in the house? I sure did. Not really, but I am sure it was him. I know he's had a past with break-ins. He commented on my violin. He knew it was expensive. But did you or did you not see him specifically, though? I didn't. I'm sorry you had to go through this, but I can't go... I'll lay off. What? I'll go down and have a chat with Billy. See if I can learn anything. I'll come back up and check in on you, okay? the girl that's dr elizabeth lip syncing back in the day had her own band mostly played pots and pans yeah, her parents were very patient met orla not too long after that actually two-piece band became three-piece well we're definitely getting closer then why does orla feel further away than ever 
No. I'm the skeptic. You're the dreamer. It's gonna work out, okay? to marry me. It must have fallen in the piano. Been there the whole time. You you didn't tell me that you and Orla were married. Well, she never said yes. She said being together was all she ever wanted. She said she'd hold on to it and promised she'd say yes someday. <laughs> Drink to our everlasting love song. Maybe she finally decided to. Maybe that's the reason why she was late to your performance that night. She she couldn't find the ring. Am I ever going to get to see her again? You will. I promise. I'll leave it right here. For when you two find each other again. Declan, we need to talk. Why did you lie about pulling Eamon over that night? When I got to his place, Orla had these marks on her neck. And I found a belt. A belt I knew Deirdre was prouder than anything to have gotten from Orla. It looked like she'd been strangled. So you got rid of the belt so Deirdre wouldn't be a suspect? Two people's lives were already over. I knew she'd go to jail, innocent or not. Do you think Deirdre killed Orla? I did. Until she was attacked. And where were you the night Orla died? I was on duty. Any record of what you were up to? No, it was a quiet shift. And what about when Deirdre was attacked? You think I hurt Deirdre? I covered for her to protect her. Does she know you lie for her? Maybe she was going to come clean. I didn't kill Orla. And I didn't attack Deirdre to save my job. Look, all I ever did was try and protect my family. So no, I didn't do it. I'll walk you down. You've got police interference and obstruction of justice for now. talking to ghosts and yourself now. Just one quick look in his truck can't hurt, right? Declan confessed to covering up for Deirdre and lying about seeing me. But not to the murders? No, but he's behind bars till bail set. So, okay. Then I can say have a gander in Seamus's truck. Mm. Windy day, wouldn't you say? Oh, downright blustery. Broken early. Mm, this one comes with blood on it. Tape strip two. Wood splinter making it look like would put Deirdre in the hospital. <sighs> I told you to leave it alone. I I, I will. I, I I'm sorry. It's too late for that. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get your hands off me. The man with your record should know it would look pretty incriminating if you were to flee. He says Father Tim had him come by to fix a leaky tap on the second floor. 
Those have been leaky for quite a while. I'll, uh, I'll speak to Father Tim and circle back if I need any further statements. Thanks. We'll be here. Great. 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 Don't look now, but you're literally standing in a triangle formation. Well, I... I should get back to work. Me too. Sure, absolutely, yeah. And you have my number if uh, you need anything. Uh, that I do. I'll see ya. See ya. How did it feel? Good. We're definitely going to win the All County now. Well, we still have work to do, but maybe we have a shot. We could win if we had a cooler song. What's wrong with this song? Okay. I guess we could use something fresh, something ours, something All County has never heard before. Like if Amy McCarthy were alive, what would he write? No, 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 no. You must have something around. Uh, did I mention no? What about expanding that song from the other night? I just don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can write without my muse. Sometimes the best way through writer's block is to write through it. Hit those blue notes. No one's gonna hear. I gotta say, hope looks good on you, Gets. What did we say about Gets? Okay, for you, Gets Emily Brown. <laughs> I'll try to write through it. What have you wanted there? Oh, sorry, uh, Gets Sammy. <laughs> uh, meet Mr. Marple. He's a, a condo developer wanting to set up some vacation spots here. Hi. Wait, you're selling? What? Excuse us. This is happening when? I'm uh, heading abroad for a bit, so hopefully sooner rather than later. He's motivated, cash in hand. Why are you selling all of a sudden and leaving the country? Well, we all have bills to pay. And I hope you're not suspecting me in any of this aim and stuff. I'm just worried that if the house sells and it gets torn down, any new evidence of your uncle might get lost. Look, you never listen to Seamus, but you're going to listen to me. There's not going to be any new evidence, so back off, yeah? Huh? And sorry about your uh, scare earlier. You know, uh, break-ins have been a, a problem in the area. Can I at least ask you where you were the night of the accident? I think it's best you probably start looking for a new place. You know, I wouldn't want you to get pushed out or, or anything. Pocket dial. Five years. Where can I put this? I need to keep it safe. In here. Huh? It's an armoire built by my ancestors. Good idea. Ah. Wow. Never seen that before. Like a growth coin, maybe. And that is? Years back when the Brits came for our property, the locals would hide or bury their coins so their money wouldn't be seized as well. Looks like my ancestors hid theirs here. Worth anything? Oh, I'd imagine. Because Seamus was flipping one of these for heads or harp at the pub. Who else would know this was here? You're going to say someone who worked the property like Bailey? Or, like you said, you hired Seamus to redo your floors right before the murders. He could have found it then. You thinking Billy broke in the night Orla was here? And she interrupted him. There's no sign of a break-in. But Billy would have a key, right? That he would. So they both could have been there. 
Gethsemane. Games night at the Pope tonight. I'll see what I can do. We'll save your seat. You. Tell your teacher friend to watch his back. You okay? We have no witnesses seeing him attack Deirdre, Orla, or even being at your place. Well, I saw him. What about the broken Hurley with blood on it? It was mostly mud. And the little blood there was, he says, was his. He broke it when he was tossed out of the game. Spectators confirmed. But... I've still sent it down to forensics. But it might not be what was even used in the attack. I found this by a cracked lockbox at Amon's. Seamus broke in to steal these coins, and he still has one. If Orla caught him, that's motive. I'll take a look at the lockbox, but I can't hold him on a matching coin. What's it called? We're calling it Orla's theme. Not finished. Who wants to try this out? <laughs> it's definitely from the late 70s, early 80s. What song is that? I, I wish I knew. It's from a ringtone I heard the other day, but it's a bit of an earworm trying to figure out the full melody. She's a woman. Cool. A deep cut by Ricotto. Great work, Rian. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you kept the door open this time. I heard you earlier with the kids. It was, it was breathtaking. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, see you later. They're just shoes. What motive would Griff have anyway? You think maybe there's a part of you that wants him to be a suspect because you're scared of falling from him? I'll go wait in the bike. Just saying, leave the house alone. Relax. Nobody knows anything. Anything about what? I've heard you boys have been betting on the matches again. A few on Lucky Street, yeah? Yeah, a few. Okay. So my question is this. Did he kill Orla when she found him in her house? Or did the boat do you? No, no, we, we... Or maybe, maybe, <clears throat> Orla and Eamon were both supposed to be poisoned by the bottle your friend Seamus delivered. And when he was nicked for robbery, you inherit the big, lovely house all to yourself. Breaking and entering is max six months. Murder is up to 40 years. It's your call what you go in for. Why did you break in the other night? Billy and I owe some bad people, and, and that violin's worth a lot. But that doesn't make me a killer. The night Orla died, you broke in then too. Orla was supposed to be at Eamon's concert that night. I went in for the lockbox. Then she came home in a, in a rush like she'd forgotten something. Something about a, a, a ring. 
I was upstairs, I, I didn't see much. If he gave you the key to get in? What if I say he did? Six months or 40 years, pal, it's up to you. Billy, let me in. What's going on in that beautiful mind of yours? How did the killer know that you were going to drink the poison as well? I'm guessing someone who knew we drank it when we wrote or celebrated. When I first got here, Seamus literally said Billy told him that exact thing. So they both know. Or, unless it was meant to be just Orla who drank it so that they could break in when she was out cold. Your death in accidents from a bottle left behind in a rush? Maybe. But we're still missing that one last piece. Billy selling. Skipping town. Innocent people don't usually run. But we don't have any real evidence against him. Maybe we look for a missing piece over at Billy's. It's game slides at the pub later. We'll definitely be there. We have a plan then. that's just lying around. But I did find parts of my stolen car hidden in a back room along with a stack of newer electronics. That explains the break-ins. But this Hurley's clearly planted. Yeah, but by who? Declan's in jail, so... Maybe it's someone off the radar? Like you said, Stringing's personal. So... I knew you just couldn't leave this alone. In your office, you said it was hard seeing the world without him. Not them. It's all about Eamon. All about love. It's a dangerous thing, isn't it? Dr. Elizabeth! Go, go, go! <laughs> are on their way. Good. We're going to get you help. There's something going on in that head of yours I'm worried about. We'll get you further checked out. The duet was supposed to be you and Eamon. Until Orla came along. Not sure what you're talking about. You've been staying close to this case the whole time. The more we found out, the more you had to cover up. That's why you attacked Deidre. Let's just talk this through. You're not well. You were going to see Amos concert with her, weren't you? As Orla's close friend, she probably confided in you that she was going to finally accept Amos' proposal. And that couldn't happen. And you had no idea Seamus and Billy arranged a burglary the same night. Deirdre would show up to return the studded belt. Maybe you propose a quick drink. A toast. 
something to settle her nerves. Oh, but Orla, she drinks too little. So you panicked. You pushed Orla over the cliff and you ran off. You saw Seamus inside, but you couldn't go in. Either way, you accidentally leave poison behind, not realizing. Amen drinks it. Why didn't you just tell Eamon how you felt? You're a sick and troubled woman. I'm afraid your state of mind, you could self-harm. They'll see it in my examination notes. You were the one thing made life livable. You were my world, but you never saw me as yours. My entire life spent wondering, why wasn't I enough? Because Orla is everything. That's it. That's it. Stay where you are. Cricket. Two crickets, Harry. I got it. Okay. 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 That's it. That's it. here to this exact moment.
here. The students did it, and you should be proud. Oh, I am. <laughs> Father, um, I, uh, I did some investigating, and apparently these are what you give out after an amazing show. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That data coincides with mine. <laughs> I don't know how you pulled it off. Luck and a little faint. I was about to say the same thing. After party down at the pub, we should do a song together. Her and I, not me and you. Mm -hmm. I got that. Uh, let me get my things. Oh, sure. Sure. Definitely prefers me. town adores you. More of a square than a love triangle. What are you doing here? First, your dad is terrible at poker, but he has the most amazing laugh. He says he loves you, misses you, and is very proud of you. Like I am. And in his own very big words, your performance the other night Stupendously prodigious. He saw that? We both did. He says you're right where you need to be. And to answer your question, I have some friends still stuck in limbo, not living their best afterlife. <laughs> they could really use your help, Getz. Getsemane. Welcome to Mystery Island. All new next Friday. Every group of visitors has a unique mystery to solve. A game of whodunit. It is only a fictional murder. Will become the perfect cover. When a killer wishes to strike, beware. For a deadly mystery. This man is really and truly dead. Help! It's horrific. Devastating. I'm in shock. I'm not. Mystery Island. All new next Friday at 9. Only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.